and uh, today we are going to see about the views in Apsheep which plays a major role in uh, UI UX part so there are many types of view like calendar view, cart view, chart view, dashboard view, deck view, detail view, form view, gallery view, map view, onboarding view, table so these are the most of the views which we are going to use into the application which you can differentiate the data modules in different views to manipulate the user experience and you can customize your views in many ways with the data models so first we are going to see in the application so that uh, you can see in the website panel UX click UX and you can create a new view I am creating a new view and you need to select a data source where where it fits the data to this view so this is the deck view which have the uh, similar things into it like I am uh, having a new view here so it is a deck view you can you can choose what are the primary header you want and the images you want primary header like task name so you can uh, see the changes in the previous screen as well you can uh, set the secondary head then you can also do the summary column So if you have an image you can select in the image column which you can give it in a separate shapes like square, round, full full image. So and this is the part where the action buttons there are a delete action button, edit action button, a reference action button and the video file action button. And you can also disable this by unchecking this so automatically the action button will disappear. So this is the thing of the deck view. So coming to the table view. So table view is simply like a older version model. It just uh, manipulate the data in a ordered way. You can you can decide whether it, it should be in a descending, descending order or a ascending order. So I am keeping as a descending order. So it will come the new records in the first and we can also group it by the status like I am grouping by the status so it will uh, separate the status as work in progress as data and completed in a separate data and you can have a count of that how many uh, data will have in a uh, one status you can have a count of two four over here so and you can also have the columns order so I need to have a column like uh, task name, status and only the date. So and uh, what is the column width is like a default, it is in default, you can also make it as narrow and you can also make it as wide. So this is the different shape which we have as a UI option. So coming to the enable quick edit beta is like you if you enable this you will have a separate edit button over here once you click it will come in a edit mode so in the table view you can edit directly from the table and save it that's it so this is the beta version of the enable quick edit in the table call so coming to the gallery view so gallery view is most of the where you can use this if you have many images you can use the gallery view so it is similar to the card view so coming to the detail view so every record has a detail view so in this you can have a test uh, separated details of the each column and you can also make it as a different display model like side by side will display the values in side by side so and if you want the slideshow model like uh, changing the record by clicking the arrow you can also disable it anytime 
so that's it of the detail view so map view will not be uh, mostly used in a small database it will be able when you are having a map functionality and coming to the chart view you can specify different types of chart view here so you have historical chart historical horizontal histogram and the pie chart you have pie chart over here and you can just you need to add a column over here so you can have a different variety of charts over this so dashboard is, is very similar like you can add many columns over here if you add a similar types of column as task and task detail over here so and make it as a using mobile in the tab and interactive interacting mode is just like what you are seeing is if you click on this record automatically it will show the detail view so it will works as a interactive model over here you will see again in the bigger screen so that you can understand that if i click the model automatically it will change the right side so this is the thing of interactive model so it is a well specified feature in appshi so coming to the form so form view is just every data model as a form view in default and you can also create a own form view with different database so this is the similar one which you have known it before and meanwhile going to the card view which you will be using most of the things in the card view. there are many types of card view in the database like large backdrop photo list so these are the thing which you can customizely shows the data in different types just you need to click this and click the task name and uh, you are going to have these are the function this is the action button which you are going to use and you can change it at any time and you can also hide it by clicking none so automatically it will hide in the left side so these are the major things of the view that's it guys if you have any doubts please comment in the comment 